Welcome back to another episode of Barlow Barbecue. It's real good to see you. And today we're gonna do a really easy recipe on the good old gas grill. And I've got a real special guest for you. I'd like to introduce my dad visiting from Pennsylvania. Good to see you. It's great to Cheers. be here. Cheers to you too. Now I'm gonna let my dad kind of take it from here and introduce the recipe and what we're doing today. All right? You got it. Cool. Just want to talk to you a little bit about how we came up with the inspiration for our dish today, pierogies in foil packets. I'm from north central Pennsylvania, and just east of me is northeast Pennsylvania, home to cities like Scranton and Wilkesboro. And that area was a mecca for immigrants during the late 1800s. Italians, Irish, Germans all came to that area to help in the coal mines of that region. And thankfully, a large number of Polish people came as well. And with them, they brought their food, which is still popular in that area today. Some of these foods you may have heard of, like kielbasa, halushki, some you may not be familiar with, like pagash, which is a pizza, believe it or not, with mashed potatoes and cheese on top. But thankfully, we all know of delicious pierogies. Pierogies are dumplings filled with mashed potatoes and cheese. And by the way, Matthew, do you know what pierogies mean in English? I do not. They stand for pierogies because there is no other word to describe the delicious meal we're gonna cook today. And pierogies are most famously known as Mrs. T's pierogies. They're named after the lady who started the pierogies in 1952 in Shenandoah, Pennsylvania. They started making it in their, their kitchen with five ladies and soon expanded to the plant next door. They had to design pierogi making machines. In fact, nobody knew about pierogi making machines back then. And today they pump out pierogies by the thousands. So we bought pierogies and that's what we're going to be using in our recipe today. Well, I tell you what, I cannot wait to eat some pierogies. That's right. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna show you what's going into the packets we're making so we can get them on the grill. Okay, we just started out by slicing up an onion and a pepper and a bowl. To that bowl, real simple, we're gonna add the pierogies. Now, we're keeping the pierogies frozen because in the cooking process, they're going to get hot. We don't want them to get mushy. So we're going to keep them frozen, put them in. Normally, I would put olive oil in here to mix it up with. But since we cooked bacon to add to this dish, we're going to use, use the leftover bacon grease instead of the olive oil. That can't be bad, can it? And to this then, we just get in there. And you mix it all in until it's well coated. All the veggies and the pierogies. And mm, my hands are going to be delicious when I'm done with this. Just mix it up till it's well coated. The other thing we're going to add is bacon. Don't forget the bacon, Dad. Don't forget the bacon. <laughs> we're going to mix that all in. That is looking good. Yes, good. Sir. Don't let that bacon escape. Nope. Okay. And then we're going to assemble the foil packets. All right, we're going to make two packets today. We're just going to show you how to do one. We're going to start off with nonstick aluminum foil. I like that in any foil packets. You're just going to assure you're going to minimize the stickage problems. We're going to divide up your pierogi mixture into about half. We already did one. Get all that goodness in there. And just to make sure everything is real good, we're gonna add a pat of butter on top. Typically you use butter when you're frying pierogies. Then we're gonna wrap this packet up. It doesn't have to be tight, just loosely wrapped. Get in there, bacon. Don't let that bacon Don't escape. Don't let that bacon get out of there. Just wrap it up so it's all in there. And then we're gonna take some heavy duty aluminum foil to double wrap it. Can you... Put this packet on there and in the opposite direction. Wrap it. 
I've had to do this before. Again, doesn't have to be tight. Fold the ends up so that it makes a little bowl. And there you go. We got ourselves a pierogi packet. A pierogi packet. All right, we're ready for the cook. We've got the gas grill here preheated about 350, 400. It really doesn't matter. You can also do these on a charcoal grill. You can also throw them into the coals of an open fire. It'll all cook great. So let's put them on and we're gonna cook them for a total of 20 minutes. That's a good uh, length for pretty much any foil packet that you're making. So we'll see you in a bit. All right, it's been 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and check on these pierogi packets. Now this is probably the hardest part of today's cook. This is definitely a two man operation or two woman operation. You're gonna need two people for this. You're gonna need one person to lift. It's called the turn. And another person to turn. We're gonna close Woo. the lid back up. Woo, what a workout. That was rough, man. Yep. Now, well, 10 more minutes. 10 more minutes. We All right. Enjoy the fruit of our labors. Can't wait. Cheers. Cheers. Hardest, See you soon. hardest part of the cook is the wait. That wait. Okay. It's been 20 minutes and it's been a long wait. There we go. All right, so what we're gonna do now is, these have been on, like Dad said, for a total of 20 minutes, and we're just gonna open up one of these packets to see how it's doing. See if it's done or not. Let's try one of these peppers. More, gotta cook them more. All right, we gotta get a little bit more time mm -hmm. on the grill. So 20 minutes wasn't quite long enough. What do you say, Dad, another 10 minutes? Another 10 minutes. All right, we'll give them both another 10 minutes. All right, let's get those over to the grill. Boom, easy as that. There we go. All right, back on the grill, give them another 10, and we'll see you all then. All right, it's been another 10 minutes. That's a total 30 minute cook time. We're gonna haul them off of there, do the unwrapping, and check it out again. We got the beautiful smell of peppers and onions and pierogies wafting across the pool. Hey. Boy. I don't think I'm gonna make it over there. We're really gonna eat them right I, now? You know, I got a bad case of PD. What's that? Pierogi deprivation. <laughs> hey, we're, we're gonna get our fill here in just a minute. So dad, you're checking the one that's been on the longest that we didn't yeah. take a peek at yeah. a little bit. That's looking good. Yeah, that's looking good to me. Get one of these peppers out with a spatula this time. You know, we need a pair of tongs. All right, dad, be careful. That's gonna be hot. Mm, 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 mm. All right. Perfect. Good to go? All right. Perfect. All right, I can't wait to try these out. I'm telling you, it smelled so good earlier. You're dump it out. You dump it out on oh, right yeah. here on the uh, tray. A nice caramel. Oh, look at that. That looks the great. down there. Oh yeah. Those look wonderful. Look at that, would you? Man. Real simple recipe. Gonna be delicious. Well, all right, Dad, I cannot wait to try these pierogies. We've been smelling them for the last 30 minutes. Mm, 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 boy, that, that actually was the hardest part, waiting for them to be yeah, done. Yeah. I'm gonna take a bite of the pierogi right here. Boy, this looks real good. Mm, oh man. I'm gonna throw in a little bacon and mm -hmm. onion and pepper. Mm -hmm. With that bite oh, real quick. Really good. Mm. Oh man. The bacon makes it. Mmm, the bacon's so good. Boy, this is delicious. Mm hmm Wow. Peppers and onions are done perfectly. As are the pierogies. Mm hmm What do you think, Dad? 
can't beat it. Mm. So if you're suffering mm. from a bad case of PD, here's the cure. Here is the cure mm -hmm. indeed. Boy, mm -hmm. these are real good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Such a simple recipe. Y'all need to try it out for yourselves and uh, see what you think. So these have been looking real good, but I'll tell you what, that pool behind us, yeah. that's also looking real good. And I, I don't I mean, know about you, Dad, but this cook was really hard. Yeah, we were slaving. I mean, just, slaving. this was probably one of the hardest cooks, hardest videos that I had to do for Barlow Barbecue mm -hmm. so far. Mm -hmm. And I tell you what, I am just ready to just take a dump, jump, take a jump, <laughs> take Go a dump in the pool. Now I'm gonna take a jump in the pool because uh, this has been one hard cook. Mm -hmm. And we want to thank you for hanging out with us today. We really appreciate it. And Dad, thank you. You bet. For bringing this pierogi goodness. A little taste of northeastern Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah. So good. Brought so good, down yo. to Florida. Oh. Thanks for sharing this with, you bet. with me and with all of you out there watching. So, Dad, what do you think? You want to hit the pool? I do. All right. Yes, sir. Let's as soon as I'm done with these. One more bite and it's pool time, y'all. Mm -hmm. Thank <laughs> you.